Well, it's not boring like La Viade, but it's not cool either. It's a very okay song. Bad. But not good either. I just listened again to make this video. So, I pass. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure, what is this? Like, I don't think I understand the song. The chorus is interesting, but the verses are so random to me. I don't think they matched very well. Especially the rap parts though. Not a big a fan of them. Also, Jaehyun really became a rapper then? I'm not too sure about this, but fine. I prefer Two Baddies way more. I love it. It's fun, energetic, creative. It's very 17. And Young G Rap wasn't out of place. Actually, the opposite, she was a great match for the three of them. And the performances were super fun to watch. I love that Key is still on his journey to make the best concepts for comebacks. He is really creative, and I truly appreciate that. But I didn't like Killer like Bad Love or Gasoline. It's cool, yeah, but I don't feel like I need to listen to it more often. Not gonna lie, it took me a while to like this song. On first listen, I found it so boring. Then I watched some performances, and gave up listening more times. But I had to watch again to make this video. And now I'm like, um, maybe it's actually nice. My problem was the verses. I thought they were underwhelming, but now, think they're fine. I still prefer Generation, but this song is good too. Some parts of this song sound a lot like Stacy, but a Stacy B-side, not a title track. So I didn't find that interesting. The best parts are Soon and Jay's rap. Other than that, I pass. I can't believe that people prefer this than Beautiful Monster. This is probably their least interesting title track. Since the beginning, Tribe's titles have been amazing. That's why I'm thinking of doing a Discover discography with them. Me know in the comments if that would be cool. But We Are Young is just good. The chorus is little underwhelming to me. I was expecting something different. <laughs> I'm so happy that they did this type of concept again. I really love their debut, Panzona, but any of their later titles were on that level. But, A Sweet Juice is amazing. Everything I was expecting after their debut. I genuinely think that they should stay in this darkish, but classy concept. It's their best. Also, the whole mini album is great. The B-sides Take and Autopilot are amazing. If you haven't checked out their comeback yet, please do it. Their titles may be not my taste. Like I Love, Lovin' Me, one of the B-sides in their debut album. But I wasn't a fan of Hire, the title. There's nothing wrong with the song. It's not bad. It's just not my style of music. So if you like more chill music, I highly recommend. I wasn't a big fan of their latest comebacks, but this one, wow, they really know how to do this type of concept. It's very pretty and sexy, probably one of their best title tracks. My only problem is that the breakdance is in the Spotify audio, if I'm only listening to the song, not nah, watching the MV, I prefer without the break. But all of this is just a detail, the song remains amazing. 